So today I am reacting to Tower of God. Now I'm going to do three episodes just because I don't want to fall behind and I heard a lot of good things about this anime. So I am really excited to finally like dive into it. I don't want to get behind. That's the thing. Like it's already on three episodes and I swear I've been hearing like every single episode is really good. So I'm like, okay, I want to try this out for myself. I want to see if I really like it. Also got a new microphone. I'm still kind of messing around with the settings. So I don't know if it's like going to sound a hundred percent perfect right now but it is a really good microphone so i'm really excited to finally get to use my new microphone and yeah so i heard tower of god is actually a korean webtoon now i've never read a webtoon before but how i was described it was like a long manga it's like you read down or something i think I'm not 100% sure. I believe there's also another webtoon that's coming out in the summer from Crunchyroll. I'm not sure on that. I think, what was it called? I just remember that the main guy on the poster looked like Ty from Digimon and I can't, it's like high school god or something. I don't know, but there's another one coming out so I might check that one out. But yeah, I heard a lot of good things about this anime. Some people were saying it's like a mix of One Piece and Hunter x Hunter. Now since it's only three episodes, I'm like, okay okay but but i think the people that are saying that i'm like how can you get that from three episodes but i'm pretty sure it's the people that are reading the webtoon right now so because i guess that's really like far like there's a lot of material with that but i'm really excited it's always fun to start something new so i just wanted to give a huge shout out to my patrons king of the pirates and above tier thank you guys so much for all your love and support not only on youtube but also on patreon so again a huge huge thank you to you guys you guys are amazing sparkles so I'm ready to start this journey and find out what Tower of God is all about. I, you know, I think it's going to be about a tower, Tower of God, you know, it's in the name. Maybe not though, but I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Tower of God. Oh, it's all green. <laughs> what do you desire? Is he like underwater right now? Honor and pride. Oh. Girl in her shoe collection. Revenge. Whatever they desire. Is Do Flamingo up there? <laughs> um. What kind of? Oh, it's the that's the guy. What the? <gasps> Rachel and Bomb. Okay. You know, normally I skip the openings, but dude, this opening though. Um, oh. Is she running away? Where is she? Climbing the tower? What? So, wait. So do they basically, like, die? To get to this tower? And he didn't... go? Oh! I guess he's going with? What the heck? So, to me, it looked like she just died. Hedon. <laughs> he looks like a Digimon. 
Yeah, where'd the girl go? Oh, it's like in the beginning. So they're not dead. They get like the Bifrost treatment, like in Thor, and just get sent to this place? <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, so they were just speaking a different language. You regular? Okay, so she was saying to use an irregular because he opened it. Wait, what ex <laughs> Hang on, that was a little confusing. Because they were saying it like it was an insult, like, you're an irregular. Yeah, an outsider who entered the tower by opening the gates on their own. So is that like a, that's a bad thing to do? So then what, are you called like a, a regular if you get like accepted into the tower without opening it on their own? I would assume it would just be the opposite of that. So I guess in this world you don't want to be an irregular? Oh gosh, she's coming on to him. <laughs> Seems like a weird thing, especially because I feel like multiple people want to get up to the top. You're just giving him a weapon. Ooh. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm assuming he really loves Rachel, especially if I feel like that's going to be a motivation for him. I feel like he knows what he's doing. Oh! <laughs> or not. How would you know to do that? <laughs> oh. Is it something else? What? Oh, that's him. I'm like, wait, who's that? <laughs> So, hmm. I hope nothing bad happened to this girl. Like, oh my gosh, she seems to really care about her. So Rachel's definitely, definitely a motivator for him. Oh. This is so beautiful. Aww. Aww. <laughs> hmm, this is actually kind of sad. Aww. 
Oh. Uh. Nice. He did it. Aw. That's sweet, though. Oh. What the heck? His cute face getting him everything now. <laughs> the visuals on this show are just so gorgeous. Oh boy. You're the one that wanted him to like move forward. Me too. <laughs> wow. What the... Does time just work really weird in this world? She did come in a little bit before him, though. 400. <laughs> what the heck? So what, they're gonna fight each other now? Interesting, okay. Gonna get a fight now? <laughs> oh, he still has the blade! Oh my gosh, this would be terrifying! <laughs> Dude's like... four times the size of him. Oh, he got arrowed. <laughs> Ooh. I feel like this is a version of like the Hunger Games like, going on now. Oh. Oh my gosh, what the heck? <laughs> Dude, his blood just like. Oh, he's noticing the weapons. <laughs> oh, come on, lag. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is a bad situation. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm like, okay. Interesting. That was, I was so like, a next episode started with that little title card, but... Okay, wow, there was a lot going on in that first episode. Okay, so about Rachel, because I feel like she's going to be a very important motivator to Bomb throughout the story, and especially when he was hitting that sphere. I think he hit it, like, three times. I'd have to go back and check, but I'm pretty sure it was three times. And then you can see in the ceiling, and I think it was like a past memory or flashback that there were three holes in the ceiling. And then Rachel was at the top of it, so she was definitely a motivator to him. I feel like it's going to be a little sad because we found out that Rachel's probably going to experience different things, even though she entered not that much sooner than Bomb did, but she was nowhere to be found once he got there. So I feel like it's gonna be sad because he really cares about her. He really loves her. Like he's like, I don't care about the tower. Like I want to reunite with Rachel. So, and this like kind of Hunger Games style, which I shouldn't say that because I'm pretty sure that this movie came out Battle Royale, which Hunger Games kind of was like, I think that came out before the Hunger Games. So, which is basically like kill everyone. But I think other animes also do this whole like, okay, get rid of like half the people here to move on type of thing. So we're gonna have to see. And also these weapons, these special weapons, because we saw that like lizard girl, she had a weapon as well that the guy was kind of looking at. He's like, oh, okay, look at that. And then, and then he went to bomb because he also had the weapon. So we're gonna have to see just how important these weapons are overall interesting story. So I'm going to continue on watching episode two and I'm just really excited because like, what the heck? I love it. I feel the adventure already. Like, I feel like this anime is going to have a really good payoff. So I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for it. So let's go. Episode two. Aww. He 
seems like such a sweet boy, though. Mm. Aww. Again, I feel like we're always getting these, like, motivational moments where he thinks of Rachel and then he's like... <laughs> he's like, I don't even know who to trust. <laughs> This guy's got the sass, though. <laughs> Interesting little turn of art style there. Blue turtle. <gasps> he is making a good point, though. Oh, so he's trying to, like, recruit people to climb with him. <laughs> I would want to climb with him. He seems pretty smart. Oh. Everyone seems so curious about these weapons. Oh. And she just gave him this weapon, though. That's like the craziest thing ever. <laughs> if it's something that important. Aww. <laughs> Cute. So he's kind of already suspecting that he's not a regular. No. Look at that! Damn, like everything's like... This guy's definitely really strong, though. Just chucking people around. See, they are saying Rahil. Oh. Rule. Oh. See, he has a better way of thinking than just slaughtering a whole bunch of people. Oh! Oh, he's back! <laughs> what the heck was that? Oh! At least they made that clear. This dude. <laughs> well, what are the odds on that? I was gonna say, I feel like all the people that ended up fighting with each other... They're still ignoring him. <laughs> Dude, let him, and then he'll get kicked out. Okay, um... He's gonna fight with his hands? What the heck? <laughs> oh, come on. Ooh. <laughs> He's giving him a chocolate bar. <laughs> Snickers satisfies. <laughs> I feel like every anime always has one of those. <laughs> Dude, 
Dude, where the heck did he get all those bars from? Lero. Oh, what the heck? Was he gonna like flood the place? Well then, he just said, like... Luck? Does he, like... Did he just enter it? <laughs> I like how he's like, Bob would have an issue and he just like, what, walked right through it? A monster has arrived? That's really weird though because technically he's like an irregular. Did that make it so he could pass through it easier? What the heck? Oh! No. What happened to her? Oh, I feel like something really bad happened to her. Oh, yes. Please explain that more. Only be it. And, yeah, I'm like, she's gonna get rejected. <laughs> okay, so Hedon also chooses them. <laughs> I feel like that's not gonna be the case, though. I swear, if he just... So, okay, so he's saying that irregulars aren't, like, the bad people. Well, at least I feel like that's just his opinion on it. Uh... So you're gonna, like, off him? Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was brutal. He's obviously not up to that at all. Oh. Oh, he might be getting through. No? Oh. Why did it stop? Why? Oh, look at that! He did, did it. Oh. God. Lag. <laughs> the guy that's just constantly in a sleeping bag. <laughs> Kun. The red door. Oh, is that actually the ending this time? Okay. <laughs> I guess it's just whenever the new tests start. Okay. But now I'm going to be a little more suspicious about Kuhn just from what we found out. Like, you can't trust him, but I don't know, maybe? Like, I really do 
Again, I really do believe that there are more regulars out there because, I mean, how are you really supposed to tell? I mean, Coon kind of noticed, like, he's like, oh, like, something's up with this kid. But it could just be, like, his potential is what could be scary as well. But really liking the second episode, and now I'm curious, like, what's gonna happen next? Overall, like, really loving it. Again, like I said with episode one, like, I really do feel that adventure. So I kind of understand now what people were talking about, like, the whole One Piece Hunter Hunter mix. Definitely is giving me those vibes, and I like it. So already liking the characters too. I mean, it's a mix of like, they add the comedy moments, but it's not like too much where it feels like, okay, this is supposed to be a little serious. And then they add the humor and I think they do a good job with that. But again, curiosity, this anime really fuels your curiosity. You're just like, what is going to happen next? <laughs> So anyways, I'm going to do episode three. I kind of like how I'm binging these though. Like, I feel like this is the way to go for sure. <laughs> but then after this, I'm going to do like one episode. So this is nice though, getting an overall taste of the anime in three episodes in a row. So I'm going to do one more episode. Let's go. Okay. Oh. What, they get banished? Oh! I feel like we're gonna get a sad little backstory. I feel like he's just gonna be a person with a very troubled past. The fact that she said that, though, and he's willing to work with Bomb is kind of interesting. Whoa, whoa, hold on. What the heck? Hang on, was I just... That dude was wearing, like, Zoro's clothes. Am I crazy? <laughs> yeah, what the heck? Dude, that guy's wearing Zoro's clothes. And he has a scar. I feel like they did that on purpose, for sure. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. He makes a good point. Oh, that is terrifying. So innocent. Huh? What the heck? It's like a giant sack. Time? ポリ袋に例なんて言う必要ない。空港ポリ袋。プラスさん。おお、スナップ。まあ、無理もありませんね。あんなひどい裏切りを経験されては。why you gotta go there, dude? Oh! What if he was right, though? あ、なぜそんな人がここに。試験を通過する状況。I'm assuming he recognizes him too. I mean, he did say he had to be lucky. Oh, <laughs> very descriptive on what they're supposed to do, though. <laughs> Calm down, dude. It's just making a, a latte. <laughs> I feel like he's going to figure this out. Oh, 
時間が手がかりなのか誰の言葉も信じてはなりません I feel like that's really gonna hold him back. It's really interesting that I feel like it's I really feel like this is a part of the tower's like powers to like bring back these thoughts, you know? Cuz it seems to happen to like the characters in the show. Oh. Did they get it? It's 5 minutes too. They seriously did it? They were like one minute to five minutes. It's really showing his trust though. The fact that he was told that. Again, <laughs> I feel like we're seeing all the characters get tested. Is he gonna say something else? No, oh, okay. Okay. I, I was gonna say, I'm like, did that, wait, was it just them that got the hint? But he seemed to know about Kun, so. That was a really interesting test, though. Aww. Uh, wait a second. That wasn't that wasn't her. What? I can't tell. Is that her? You can definitely see the freckles, blonde hair. Three of you will be transported to the next test. That has to be Rachel right there. Just because of how distinct her features are. Who is she with? This is giving me like weird vibes right now. If that's not her, but I'm pretty sure that's her. Especially because they're hiding her face. Like why would they do that for any other person, you know? So she was like one step behind them though. And he was also saying an irregular, so. The leader. To you. <laughs> the leader. <laughs> How it doesn't get really like. There's no way all these people are gonna get that far though. Bonus test? What will that get them? I feel like they're gonna get some type of reward from it though. Is it just a really hard test? Whoa! Everyone's interest peaked, but like, what is it? It has to be something hard. No details. Okay. <laughs> no details whatsoever. Crowd game? 
So it's like King of the Hill, basically. Oh. Oh my gosh. Go to that person. She's there right now. This is definitely Rachel. This is gonna get spicy. Jeez. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Is it because she's fighting? Is he like... Are there swords like connecting some like energy or... <laughs> senses? Oh! <laughs> not gonna work. Nope. Rejected. Oh, that's her. A hundred percent her. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy's so extra. <gasps> oh ah, no it's gonna end no no okay that cliffhanger how is it the last episode i watched that cliffhanger was the absolute worst cliffhanger okay so of course we ended off with a huge cliffhanger with Rachel being there like there's no doubt in my mind once because they always described her with like freckles and everything and then you see this girl wearing a hood and like you can see her freckles blonde hair I just want to know how did she fall behind bomb and also like what's going on why is she trying to hide herself because everyone else seems to be like just out there you know showing off what they're wearing their faces they're not hiding their identity and the fact that she's hiding her identity has me a little concerned that something is wrong with her like right now now i'm not gonna exactly take what kun was saying for like his doubts on rachel if she really cared about you why would she make you go on your own why didn't you guys go together and that kind of had me thinking what were her intentions like she seemed like like a very sweet person how he would act is mom would say like oh they're not like boyfriend and girlfriend but he belongs to her like property so rachel is still a big mystery right now in the show i feel like her intentions weren't really clear and we didn't get to see that much of her character just through bomb's flashbacks so i also found that test interesting because we got to see khan's past well a brief little portion of it and his mother told him not to trust anyone so in these moments i was thinking okay that guy the bad guy was planted there because maybe he knew that khan just couldn't trust people, which was the case because he had his doubts. He's like, well, what if it doesn't work? Okay, we're not gonna do that type of thing. So I find his character very intriguing, but now I feel like next episode is going to be intense to find out like Bomb and Rachel, like, are they gonna encounter each other? Did Rachel know going in there that Bomb would also go there too? Like he said he was gonna follow her to the death. So I hope, I hope she'll, be like who she was, you know, and his thoughts and his memories. So we're gonna have to see. I am so excited to continue on with this anime. The visuals are on point. So far, the story is interesting. The characters are great. So I'm just really excited for next episode. But thank you guys so much for checking out this reaction. If you like this video, give it a like. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome Tower of God content and other anime things. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay fresh in mind.